Maybe I should go there and, and ask about her. Hmm? But I hardly know her. I don't even know her name or anything about her. But I'll just describe her to anyone I meet there. What if she's living with her parents? What if she has a boyfriend? Hmm? If she's married? No, 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 no. She can't be married at all. I, I, I don't want to believe that she's married. I haven't felt this way for any lady in a long time. I don't want to take any chances or I'll wait in my car and keep watch till she comes out simple and short. Yes. That's what I'll do. I'll just wait. Oh no. Let me go. I'll go. Um, what well done? Na, 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 um, my name is Charles. My name is Charles. I know be your name, man. I ask, no be your name. I say, who did they do for? Who did they do for? Come here. Um, well, I am. Um, I'm looking for this tall, slim fair lady that walked in here yesterday. No, you don't get name, Abby. You know, I, I, I saw her, you know, she, she walked all the way from that point and, and, and walked in here yesterday. She, she's, she's tall, she's light skinned, she's really, really pretty. And I was just wondering if I can just stop by and, and say hi. That's why I'm here. <laughs> do, 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 just do, do you now. Do you. Eh? Do, do, do you. It's just a pro woman for back, like, like a, a, a butterfly. So you be butterfly. You know where else you get the husband? Look, make I get it, make I tell you this one for inside your brain. Pass here, quick, quick now, before my madam come, come and get you here. Oh, I'm not pass you, go better pass you. Oh, yeah, make you put all your wings. You get the looks here. Oh, yeah. Look, why are you being difficult? I tell you, look, what's going to happen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go really good on my own.
So she has a boyfriend and I am here wasting my time. Oh, I should have known on time and and not just put my mind to it. But why would she come to the mall and looking all fine and sexy? Huh? Looking for who to give her a free ride if she has a boyfriend. Why? Nah, I'll take my chances. I will keep coming until I get her to tell me herself that she's not available. I'll come back again. Hi, um, please take me to Lucky Face 3. Thank you for the services. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, like I said, Ellie, I like your services. And I'd like to have your number so I can call you whenever I need you. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, zero, eight, zero. Let me just give it to you just, just that one. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. I'll call you. Today, guys go here. Sandra on point. Always on point. <laughs> but, Babo, I am hungry. Is there no food in this house? Please, I don't want to get there and start asking them for food. Though. Please, make me something, even if it's Indomie. Uh -uh. It's not only Indomie, it's Aldomie. Oh. Can you imagine? Uh -uh. Who will cook the food? <laughs> Please. Do I have a house girl in this house? Well, 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 ladies, whatever you ladies are planning to cook, please add my own portion. I'm hungry too. You see? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm famished. 
Okay, so does that mean we all are eating? Yes, 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 yes. Like I'm so hungry. Me too. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let me call my cab guy. Hello? Hello, ma. Um, hi, Charles. Um, please, could you help me go to any eatery around where you are and buy me some food? Oh, okay. What do you want? I want um, jello fries and chicken for four people. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, I, 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 I don't have that amount of money on me or I. You will be my first passenger for the day. I haven't really, I haven't carried anybody since morning. I don't have that amount here. <sighs> okay, okay, no problem. Just come to the house and then I'll give you some money to get me some food, okay? Oh, okay, I should come inside. Okay, all right. Now, Mr. Azizi, say you want to stop me for work, Abby. Now, now, wait till you carry you come here again. Now, waiting. I'm here to see you, madam. Uh, ma madam? Yes. Okay, now, waiting behind him. Ha, huh. Sandra. <laughs> hey, everybody, hey, uh, Now, you don't walk walk now everywhere. You don't ask people, waiting be my madam name. So, they, they say her name, na, na, na Sandra, Abby. Now, uh, I won't make you get this inside your brain. Get them inside your brain. I am very sure that uh, my madam no know you and you no know my madam at all. Eh? So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we. Andele, andele. Okay, can you at least just go inside and tell your madam that the taxi driver is here with you? Can you just do that? Oh uh, yeah, maybe wait. Wait here, oh. Oh, I, I come. Yeah, go tell them. Hmm. Yes, Okun. What are you looking for? I say make I tell Madam say that you get the best way there for as I get. So I say make I come tell first before I bring them inside. Oh, and I assume you're the man he's talking about. Now, <laughs> now, I say make you wait for as I get. Then you throw me for back and I get fly. Now, wait now. So now you want to make sure that you remove me from my work a bit. You know go work or or you make you go as I get. Wait, wait. Okun, will you shut up? Shut up and go back to the gate. Uh-uh. No, 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 So, who are you? And who are you looking for? Oh, my name is Charles. It's Charles. I, uh, Sandra called me to come help. Don't give me stuff into your job. It's my cab driver. Okay. There you go. Um, please buy us rice, jello fries, okay? And please hurry, you are late. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank you. Hmm. Sandy. You sure it's not only cab work this guy did for you? What's that supposed to mean? Well, the guy is well dressed and he's so cute. And he's a taxi driver. <clears throat> An executive taxi driver. That's why I chose him. Seriously, girls, I don't understand. What would Sandy girl 
be doing with a cab driver? Hmm? Listen, I am not ready for love because he's handsome or he's well-dressed. Your girl needs a man that can pay her bills. Money talks, baby. Listen, Martin, I called him earlier and then I was like, oh, hi, could you please help us get some food when you get here? We'll pay you the money and all that. And then he was like, eh. I don't really have money now. I haven't carried any passengers. Is <laughs> that the kind of guy, Sandy? Would please, guys, should please tell me something. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! Let me step down. Taxi driver, indeed. Not even in my dreams. <laughs> wow. I hope you did not uh, forget anything on the list. <laughs> <laughs> so you were looking at me. Oh well, I wasn't looking. Let's just say I was um, stealing glances. Okay, don't steal next time. Just look. <laughs> okay, no problem. Good sense of humor, I must say. Thank you. You're quite free. Uh, you're a lot different from most of my passengers. How? Well, you know, maybe because of class difference. You just believe that. The cabman has nothing in common with them. with them. So, no matter what you say, really, they would never respond. Ever. But then they expect you to respond to a thousand and one questions that they ask you. And it doesn't even end there. They expect you to respond with a yes, sir, or a yes, ma'am at the end of it. Well, that's wrong, now. The taxi guy is human, right? So, his feelings should be respected. Well. Well. Let me ask you, do you think that Sandra would like to marry, or should I say would agree to marry a taxi driver like this? Sandra, my friend? Yes. Of course. <laughs> but why Sandra of all the girls you have met in your life? Ah, because I like her a lot. I like her so much. You know? And if you don't mind, I would like for you to help me talk to her. Yeah, why not? I will. But you have to, you know, register your interest first. Okay? No problem at all. I will do so. Thank you very, very much. You are welcome. I appreciate it. You say it's the um, yes. best turn to the right. Right, yeah, I'm going to the moon. Oh, okay. We're here. Thank you. Uh, so here, yeah, the money. Oh no, no, <laughs> no! Don't worry about it. It's fine. Charles, you can't do that. This is business. You need to maintain your car and buy fuel. I know, I know, but you know, <laughs> not all taxi drivers are the same. And I don't want to be part of the people who judge me uh, just as a taxi driver. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Um, please. In case you finish and you still, you know, need a drop off, you can call me. I I can just come back here and pick you up. Okay, then. Let me have your number. That'll be yeah, zero eight zero three four one two two triple nine zero zero. Yes, that's it. All right, I'll call you. Take care.
It's okay. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Charles, you can't keep refusing to collect money from me every time you buy stocks from me. Take it. I know, but... Okay, this time, just keep it. It's, it's fine. Uh, um, okay. Sandra, um, there is something I'd like to talk to you about, that is, if you have the time. I hope everything is okay. Yes. Okay. You can sit. Thank you. Um. Hi. You see, there is something that I have. Um, that I've had in mind for a long time now. But I've just been waiting for the right time to to tell you. Um, Sandra, I fell in love with you from the moment that I saw you. I'm in love with you, Sandra. I, I have been looking for a way to tell you this, but I just thought it would be right if I hold on a little, you know, you get to know me. I get to know you more before I say it, but the longer I wait, the more I feel compelled to to talk to you about it. Sandra, I don't know if this is the right time, but I love you. And I would like to marry you. <laughs> you mad? Have you gone crazy? Charles, did you smoke something before you came here this morning? No. How dare you? You have the nerves to come to my house to tell me that you want to marry me. Is it because of the little, little, little change that you leave? Thank you so much, I leave my house. Leave this place. What is it? What happened? Why are you shouting? Can you imagine? Can you imagine this common taxi driver? Come here, Sandra. I love you. I want to marry you. Can you just imagine? My friend, leave my house. I'm really sorry about the embarrassment. Really, I have not seen her get angry over anything like this before. Please, don't hate her for her actions, okay? I I'll find time to talk to her, okay? Uh, it it's fine. I'll just um, take my leave. Yeah. Sorry.
Why are you going by this time of the night, Sandra? <laughs> Guess. I'm not guessing. Just answer my question. Where are you going to? Clement is coming in from Germany. <laughs> yes, and then he told me to come pick him at the airport and take him to a very classy hotel. <laughs> airport? Yeah. Okay, well, don't tell me you're going to the airport by this time by yourself. That's too risky now. Ah, I don't understand. Am I going to trek to the airport? I'll take a taxi now. Okay, so that means you've called um, Charles to pick you up, Abby. Who is Charles? Please, 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 please. Please, I am not interested in any poor infested guy. Do you understand? The fact that I was close to him is what gave him the temerity to ask me, Sandra, to marry him. Please, oh. In fact, all that is in the past now. Baby, you're pushing this too far, really. I mean, if Charles drops you, you'll be in good hands. You'll be in safe hands. That's the important thing now. Why well, don't, don't push this too far? Anyway, that's part of it. I am pretty late. Hi, how do I look big? You look good, but you know what I'm telling you this person. You need to be, I need to be sure you're in safe hands. Okay? I'm safe. I'll be fine. Uh -huh. Hi, Sandra of Toy. Okay, what happened to you? What happened to you? I was robbed. Are you serious? Does this look like a thing to joke with? I was robbed. They took my bag, my money, my phone, everything. It was a good Samaritan that took me to the airport. The worst part was that I didn't meet up with Clement because I was two hours late. Oh, God. <laughs> it was even the good Samaritan that brought me home. Sorry. <sighs> Thank God he didn't want you. You see, if you had gone with Charles like I told you, this wouldn't have happened. Hey, 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 hey. Please, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hmm? Ah, thank you. Ah, uh, Charles, I forgot to tell you Sandra was robbed. What? I'm serious. Telling you. When? How? What happened? She got into a wrong cab. The cabman and some other people in the car just robbed her and took everything she had. This is terrible. No wonder I've been calling and you know no response from her end. But why did she not call me? When where was she going? Why did she call me? I mean, if she had called me, I would have taken her there by my myself and all of this would have happened. Goodness, it's sad. Tell me. You know what I've been calling? You know, I've been calling and you know, no response from her and I, I've been wondering what. But what is she like? How is she coping now? What, what, did they touch her? Is she hurt? No no, 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 no. They didn't touch her. She's okay. They just took her things. Oh, okay, please. Um, let her know that I'll come see her later. Okay. Oh. All right. Thank you. Yeah, take it easy. Hey. 
Is it? What do you want? I'm here to see you, please. Just let me in, please. Really? You will leave the guy out there. You won't even let him come in and say what he has to say. Please come in. Please come in. That guy steps his feet into this house. I swear to God, I will call the police and make sure that he gives me everything those robbers stole from me. Sandra! Yeah. Oh, Sandra, me. How are you sure that he was not the one who planned with those robbers? Eh? Kate, this is Lagos and I don't trust anyone. She just don't trust me. I'm sorry for what happened. You know, Sandra has not gotten over what she lost to the arm robbers. She probably needs time to heal. So I suggest you come back, you know, when she's in a better mood. Okay? Okay. I will. Still, so I, I got this for her. You know, I can't take it back. Would it be nice enough to help me? You know, pass it on to her. Of course. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure she gets it. Okay? Please. I'll appreciate it. You really do like my friend. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> A lot. I have to run. Okay. Hello, Charles. Please, would you be here in the next 10 minutes? I'm good to go. Please don't keep me waiting, okay? Thank you. What is this thing of a taxi driver doing in my house? 
Sandra, really, I don't like how you're going about this. I feel like you're just pushing this issue too far. I don't care how you feel. All I'm saying is I don't want to see this taxi driver in my house anymore. The next time I see him here, I will throw quite of you out of this house. You know what? That's where you should be, outside. You know what, Sandra? You can throw me out of your house. Even right now if you want. But you cannot detect to me what I do with my life or who I'm friends with. Okay? Let me not just see him in my house. Nonsense. I am so sorry I kept you waiting. Sorry. No problem. Please, can I ask you a favor? I don't want to come here again. But please, I also don't want to lose your patronage. So please, next time, if you want me to take you somewhere, call me. I'll just wait for you outside. I, and I'll take you to where I, I, you want to go. I, I don't want your friend to throw you out of her house on my account. Please, come on. Please. Don't be like that. Sandra is my friend, okay? She can get angry and say whatever she likes, but she can never throw me out of her house. That's not possible. Plus, she can tell you not to come to her house, but she can stop me from being friends with you and calling you anytime I call. I need your services. Okay? Just let it go. It's nothing, really. Let's go. I'm running late, please. Yeah, please. Thank you. I love it. Okay, baby. Okay. Bye. Oh, 
Where are you? You need to take a cab and start coming home immediately. Yes, like you, you just need to call home. You need to call home. Okay, see you soon. Please. You have to wait for me here. Let me know what the emergency is about, okay? No problem. I'll be right up. Sky is this? Who's that now? Sandra. the truth of the century oh my god oh yes oh yes oh yes that's my car you know what clement bought that car for me because of the robbery incidents wow oh yeah you see <laughs> oh god. you see how god works in mysterious ways hmm? mm. the other day you were blaming me for not using that what's that guy's name a wicked taxi driver, Charles. And that was why I got robbed. You didn't know it was a blessing in disguise. Yes, now. You look at it. If I didn't stop using this taxi, I wouldn't have entered the wrong taxi. And if I didn't enter the wrong taxi, I wouldn't have been robbed. And if I wasn't robbed, no new moral car <laughs> for me. <laughs> You see, now you know why I said that taxi driver. <laughs> that boy is nothing but bad luck. Madam, can I go and see the car? Can you take me to see your car? Of course. Can you take me? I'm sorry. Say what? So what? <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> say what? Say what? Anything can happen. <laughs> See, this guy knows you. Like he knows you like fine things. My favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. Let's say that again. We are going to paint the town red. <laughs> In fact, I have called Jessica, Samantha, and Cynthia to come over. But you said you should have told me now that this is why you were why you, why you called me. Ah, I thought it was an emergency and I ran back. I left what I was supposed to do. Now I have to go back and finish it. Sorry, it's worth celebrating now. Because Charles was really worried about you, though. He thought something bad had happened, so we just ran back. Thank God he's still outside. I just go and tell him you're okay. He was really worried. Kate. Kate. Can't you see what is happening? Eh? Why can't you just leave that poor, infested idiot alone? So that good things like this can come your way. Sandra. You cannot condemn a guy who wants to marry you just because he doesn't have material things. No, you shouldn't do that. You have called this guy names in front of me just because he's a taxi driver. 
Abba Sandra. Have you even stopped to see the potential this guy has? He's a hard-working guy. Yes, he's hard-working. It takes a hard-working guy to stoop so low to do that kind of job, to raise money. I mean, I'm sure if he had better opportunities, he would do better. If this thing you are doing, marriage is not all about material things. Marriage is about happiness and love, and he clearly loves you. Kate, Kate, why are you talking like a child? Eh? Do you want to tell me that you do not know that money boosts love in marriage? Eh? Oh, do you like the way your father died poor and rich? Hmm? Or do you like the fact that your siblings are going about? Jobless. Well, maybe you are used to poverty. But you see me, Sandra, <laughs> it's a capital no for poverty. Uh, why am I even talking plenty? You're a woman now. Go and marry Charles. Please have one cold wine. Let me go and sip it. <laughs> See more Thank you. Sandra is supposed to be my friend. Why would she mock me with my father's predicament? Never mind. Kate. Never mind. It's okay. All right? It's all right. Come on. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Um, brandy on the rocks, please. Okay, sir. Um, and, um, we'll call you later, okay? Okay, mom. Uh, don't bring anything yet. All right, mom. Yes, thank you. Charles, what are you doing? Drinks are very expensive here. I know. All right, I have brought a couple of my clients here, so I know how things work here. But it's a nice place. I, I like the place. And that is why I brought you here, you know, so that you and I can, um, so I can give you a treat, you know, now that, now that you're my friend. Well, you don't have to spend all this money to give me a treat. Come on now, Kate. <laughs> don't, don't spoil this moment for me. You know, I... I actually saved. You know, I saved up to... to bring you here. So that you and I can have a moment. And talk about us. About us? Yeah. About us. Ah, uh, okay, so I'd like to hear what you have to say before the drink. Okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, Kate. See, the thing is, I have been, I've been thinking that, um, you have to see him. That's fine. Hello? What? Hey, okay, okay, just take her to the hospital, okay? And beg the doctors to treat her. I'll just find money anyhow. Yes, I'll, I'll be with you soon. Okay. Please. What what's going on? Who's who's going to the hospital? Who's sick? My mom. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, that's totally understandable. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Please, do not despair. Okay, I know that your father is not here, but it is important that you know that God is here and with you. And you also have me, Kate. I'm here with you. Everything will be all right. As long as you let me in, let me, let me share your pain. Let me carry this with you, please. You're a good person, Kate. And I really don't want to see you. If you marry taxi driver, I don't care. If you marry taxi driver, I don't care. If you... Oh, come! If you marry taxi driver, I don't care. If you marry taxi driver, oh God! Oh God! If you marry. <laughs> What do you want? Uh, uh, please, I am not here to see you. I've, I've come to see Kate. Can you please tell her that I'm here? Kate is not around. Uh, sorry, please, where did she go? You don't have phone. Oh, you want me to buy you a phone? Hello, Kate. How are you? Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. And how is your mom doing? Okay, I see. Um, Kate, can you send me your account details? Let me send you something. Okay, because I, I know you need it to pay hospital bills, take care of hand. You know, just without expenses while you're there. Kate, I insist. I want to help. Okay? You're sending it now? Okay, good. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Kate. Yes, I sent you a hundred thousand. What? Oh, 
Listen, 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 Kate, Kate. Are you saying that I cannot make a sacrifice of of a hundred thousand naira for a friend, for a very close friend of mine? Is that what you're saying? Okay, listen, if you must know, all right, you see that money I sent you was part of the savings for my second taxi, but your mom is not feeling well, and right now her life is, is priority. Okay, so my second taxi can wait. I can always save up for that later, but let's take care of mommy first. That's why I sent you the money. What condition? <laughs> All right, fine. No problem. As you wish. Okay? Take care of you. Then. Bye. I didn't sneak in. I took a cab. <laughs> Charles, I don't have to worry you all the time. You have done too much on my family already. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. She's better. She sends her regards. Um, Charles, I have part of that money now, so when will I see you so I can give it to you? And maybe next week I can raise the rest of the money. Charles. Okay, thank you. Bye. If you like, if you like, if you like, 
God. If you like, call the angels. No one will save you today. This is my car. Brand new one. See you, uh, Hello, Eric. Can I call you? Hello, boss. Uh, Biko. Biko. Okay, I can wear cross to that shop. Okay, I can wear cross to that shop, okay? Uh, audio, 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 audio. Uh, Biko, I will be here to deliver cross to that today. Uh, okay, Mark, when you're present, you can do after Raju Rasaki. Uh -huh. Number 66A, I can do present. You know, dear, he deliver a Honda. Uh, 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 Yeah, they make I give you. If they say they don't buy another cup for you, Abi. <laughs> Take them now. Come on, girl. Have your keys. Hey, oh. I buy you, Mama. <laughs> Look at that. I will go celebrate them now. Come <laughs> new. Hey. Wow. Come hey. on. Girl, what are you doing? This is a celebration of people. One. He has just replaced your car with a brown new one. Come on, girl, let's go in and celebrate. Celebrate what? Celebrate what? What is here to celebrate? What is here to celebrate? I have lost more than a car. What is here? <laughs> lost? I don't understand. Ah, you got two cars, girl. Come on, let's go celebrate. Why are you crying? My name is Sandra. Yes. I will not lose. No. Hello, Kate. Hi, Sandra. Kate. Please. Treat this as urgent as you can, eh? Please, just do me a favor. Help me call Charles. And tell him that I am sorry for everything. And you please find it in his heart to forgive me. I'm really sorry. What happened? Did you have another fight with him or another issue with him? Kids, when you come, I'll explain everything. Eh? Just help me call him. Call him for me. Okay.
Na 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 I don't understand what's going on with you these days. Who wants the car outside? Hi. The reason why I called you here. Please, did you beg Charles for me? He's not picking my calls. Hey. <sighs> Sandra, can you cut out the drama and tell me what's going on? Who owns the car outside? It's my car. You? Yes. Charles bought that car for me. <laughs> That's unbelievable, Charles. Really? That's unbelievable, Charles. I'm serious. Charles is not what he claims he is. That guy is not a taxi driver. <laughs> That's a lie. That can be my Charles. Hmm? Your Charles. I mean, Charles. Charles can't buy a car. Yeah. I wish it wasn't Charles. Oh, my dear, it is Charles. Kate. Okay, he mistakenly hit my car. And then we got into an argument. And I was like, I didn't want my car fixed. He has to buy me a new car. And then, voila, he bought me. New car to replace my car. <laughs> hey, Kate. That guy is rich. Charles is wealthy. He's not what he claims to be. He is not a taxi driver. He disguised himself. Charles is not a taxi driver. Kate. Kate. Hmm? You need to help me find Charles. Um, uh, <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? He's not taking his calls and I don't know where he stays or works. <laughs> I have an idea. The car he brought for me, it's either he owns the shop or his friend owns the shop. Yes, because I could hear his friend calling him boss. Boss? Yes. So what we'll do is, I'll just check the address on the receipt of the car, and then people can go there and find me we'll see him or something. Please. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go now. Richardson Automobile Limited. Hmm. That's where the car was bought. I'm sure he's the owner of the car. Charles, mm -hmm. the taxi driver. Hi. A car shop owner and a rich man. Unbelievable. Oh, this is a dream. Hey, Jesus. Hey, the money, get it, get it, pretty money. And you can say they drive a pretty jeep. Oh. My friend, shut up your mouth. I didn't mind they got the money. Oh. Hey. So you knew he had money. Hey, madam, no best. I, I forget now. My friend, shut up. You are part of my problem. Get out of here. Hey, thank you. Sense. You know what? I think we should go there. Let's go to this place. Let's go now. Mm. Mm. 
You married me. I'm, I'm dreaming, right? This, this is not real. Jane, I'm for real. Will you marry me? Please, Jane. Yes. This must be one of his prank. Kate. This is no joke. I am for real. I love you with all my heart. I want you to be my wife. <sighs> Sandra? My time with you is up. Excuse us. Out. Sit down with you. You already asked my friend out of your office. I can't sit down with you. Kate, I asked your friend to leave. No, she's not the woman for me. I asked your friend to leave because my time with her is up. I love you, Kate. From the bottom of my heart. And I know that deep down in your heart, Kate, you love me. But I see that you want to run off. But I tell you this before you go, please. Whatever you do, please follow your heart. Because I know that your heart lies with me. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah, I like this place. This place is okay. Yes, it is. It is. It's very. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> okay. Andra. We are going to have a party here. Yeah, let's try them. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. We should judge them. Why is she running off? <laughs> You too. We should drink something, right? We should drink something, right? Yeah, we should. Richard Charles, why did you have to disguise yourself? As a cab driver. I'm sure if you had gone to Sandra as Richard, she would have just said yes, and all this awkwardness wouldn't have happened. If I had gone to Sandra as Richard, she would have said yes, but then I would have had a monster for a wife. I have reasons for the things that I do. I was once in love. I loved Thelma so much that, that I, I wanted to settle down with her and start a family with her. But she broke my heart. A lot happened. Very well. How are you? I'm fine. Who's the young man? Uh, 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 Dylan, this is my brother, the one I told you about, that you promised to have a business for. His name is Nino. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. Great. Uh, I hope that uh, your sister is taking care of you. Well, if, <laughs> well, if your fiancé approves it. Of course, you should approve. Uh, you're more like a brother-in-law now. You know that, right? And tell you this, um, now that you're here, let me categorically let you know that um, very soon, my people and I will come over. So that you can officially walk in here and feel free, okay? Ah, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you very much. It, it's fine. I'll just um, freshen up, you know, get into something light and then come. we we'll sit down and we'll talk. All right? Feel at home. Richie. What's up? What was that guy we tell? Oh, that's um, Nino. That's Emma's um, brother. My brother-in-law to be. What's good? Richie, see, see, see. What I saw out there is not a brother to sister relationship. Guy, open your eyes. <laughs> I know. Look, let me tell you, Mr. I don't have for those two people. I tell you the truth. I don't know. They're just clingy like that. You know, they're holding hands, acting like they want to kiss. I guess that's what you saw that got you disturbed. Oh, boy, leave that in. They were actually kissing. I saw it with my two eyes now. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> Bob, so they pranked you and you fell for it. <laughs> There's nothing going on with those two people, I'm telling you. Nothing's going on. Look, look, look. See, I know you wouldn't believe me. But if you want to know the truth, just plant a camera in, your, in this house and you'll get the greatest shock of your life. Well, you know your problem. You've never liked Thelma. Telling you. Well, you know what? Just for the sake of your curiosity, I'm going to have them come install some CCTV cameras here to prove you wrong.
maison. <laughs> Darling, I've never enjoyed you like this before. Mm -hmm. You're so energetic, even more than your brother-in-law. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I can't wait to. I told you from the outset. I can't wait for us to get to that. You want to know a woman that truly loves you when you are so rich? She poured the money into my account. Now you've seen it. Look, mm -hmm. I believe she came to you just so because of your money. You but you wouldn't believe me. But well, thank God, the truth has been revealed. You house. can see it now. Isn't it funny that the one woman who I loved with all my heart? Heart and all my life, I wanted to give my all to the start of family. Was the one person who was interested in no other thing but my wealth. She was constantly thinking of means, stealing my money and eloping with her boyfriend, who she claimed was her brother. I've had my fair share of experience in life and I've come to realize that greed in man is insatiable. But I'm human. And I want love. And so I decided to devise a strategy. Yeah, you can stop me in that video. Yes, here's fine. Yes, thank Is this you. Where you live? No, I actually want to see a friend briefly, then I'll go home. Should I wait so that I can take you home? At least it wouldn't be a crime for me to know where you live, so that I can visit. When I'm done, I will go home, okay? And for your question, sorry. I don't welcome visitors in my house. What about your number I ask for? I don't give my numbers to strangers. Thank you. <laughs> Hell yeah, he worked. Because <laughs> look at me right now, sitting in front of you, Kate. Such a fine woman with a good heart. One who gladdens my heart. And to a lucky baby. You know what? You know what the sad tales. Um, let's, let's have a drink, okay? Waiter! And where the hell do you think the food? I don't understand, Sandra. So you had to go bring Charles to the hotel I was to so see me with a man, right? How? I, I can't do that. Like, listen, Kate. You know what? I've had enough of all of this. Just go in there 
and pack your things and leave my house. Sandra, you can at least let me explain, okay? I, I explain what? Kate, I thought, I thought you were human. I picked you up from the streets. I changed your life. I made you look this good. And all you could do is backstab me. No, 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 no. You stabbed me right in front of me. Sandra. You ingrates. Boyfriend snatcher. You know what? Just get in there, pack your things, and leave my house. This minute, Sandra. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. Sandra, you can at least let me explain. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you anymore. Go pack your things. Why are you doing this? Go and pack your things. If you don't go in there, but I will do that for you myself. So go in there and pack your things out of my house. I don't even want to ever sit in my house with you again. you bring him here without telling me? He shouldn't be here. He shouldn't be here. Why? It's going to cause problems for me. I don't like this, no? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm... Okay, um, look, I mean, you, I really wanted to see you, you know, but look, I'm here. You know, there's no way I'm going to come here without wanting to talk to you. Huh? Hello? Sandy? Girl, you won't believe what's going on here right now. Your boyfriend Charles is here to see Kate. Girlfriend? Actually, the both of them are outside. Look, she's in fact standing beside his car, and the both of them are comfortably talking like lovers. Girl, I'm serious. Look, if you hasten up, you will catch up with them. Go, go. Come get your man. All right, you know what? If you can't talk here, you're not comfortable. Why don't we just go to somewhere nice and quiet? How about that? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, this is fun. Um, you should stop me here, okay? Why? Why? Come on, you should understand now. Girls, you can't understand girls' ways more than I do. Don't worry, I'll walk home, okay? You should trust me by now. Trust a woman. There's some things you cannot handle that I can handle. Yes, yeah. You're sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. Just take Patricia home, okay? Okay, she'll just come to the front. Yes. All right. All right. Take a look. Yeah, yeah bye.
is a uh, get on Charles. What happened? This is why your face is like this. I hope we are safe. Hey, hey you're not safe. Understand. I said, where is Kate and Charles? Uh, what happened now? Give a in Why are you agitated? Hey, hey Jessica. Yes, get on Charles. They drove off a few minutes ago. Get Well, that I wouldn't know. <laughs> and she didn't even bother to say anything to any of us. Well, <laughs> I hope there's no problem, Sha. Eh? There is problem. There is a very big problem. There's problem, oh. And this problem will come if, Lovett, if I come back to this house and I still see Kate in this house. <laughs> hey! Love it! You will know that Sandra is always on point. Always on point. You will know that if I see Kate in this house again, <laughs> I will do everything in my power to make sure that you lose this house. Trust me, you will lose this house. Yes. Hey, hey. Wait, wait, wait. Come. All of you. Let me tell you something. If you do not chase kids from this house, you will, she will snatch all your boyfriends. <laughs> uh, she will snatch your boyfriends. And then she'll be like, eh, eh, I don't do men. Only than down. Who said they don't want you? Don't say I did not warn you. Don't say I did not warn you. I have said my own. But let me not come back here. I'll find that a kid is still in this house. Love it. <laughs> okay. Hey. Jessica, how did Sandra find out that Charles was here? Tell me. Hey. How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> am I a prophet or do I look like a witch? Apropos, you think I didn't know you gossiped that to her? Jessica, come back. Come back. It's too much now. I don't know why you're surprised. It's Jessica. And this uh, Apropos 1997. Mm -hmm. See me see problem. Love it. Please, I beg you. Do not use my name to go and buy paper where Kate is, eh? Please. Please. Why are you dragging me like that? See? Kate, please. I don't want any trouble. But I think it's time for you to pack your things and leave this place. For the sake of peace and the security of your life. It's very obvious that someone is monitoring all that is going on in this house and giving the information to Sandra. Really? Yes. Sandra came here immediately you left with Richard. It was obvious she came to fight you. Thank God she didn't meet either of you. What did I do to Sandra? What did I do to her? This is becoming very serious and life-threatening. She threatened fire and brimstone. And she even swore to go to any extent to make sure I lose this house. Can you know all her contributions towards my getting this house? Please, I don't have anything against you. But you have to live peacefully. You know, we all have to be careful and security conscious. Please. I'm sorry. I just have to... Um, Patricia, I've been thinking that uh, it would be a good idea if your mom comes to the city. Don't you think so? Because I'm thinking that her presence here would, um, you know, help her overcome stress that she's going through and also afford you the time to look after her, given her health condition. True. I know you're right. I've also been thinking on how to make that happen. You have to stop thinking, all right, Flanny. Just do it, all right? Make it happen. You don't have time. Okay, thank you. 
You're welcome. I also believe that uh, her presence in the city here would also help Kate focus even more. That's what I believe. Yeah, true. Yeah. So you call Mama up and then uh, give me a feedback on, on what both of you agree on. All right. If it means me financing the trip, I'll be happy to do so. Really? <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank All right. you for the draw. I'm so home. My slides off. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Drive safe. Okay. My son, I have heard so many good things about you. I don't need any oracle or soothsayer to tell me that you are a good man. God sent to this family. Uh, thank you, Baba. You know what? You are already my in-law. Is your gum cape? Is your gum cape? You know what? My daughter Kate loves you so much. Because she has not discussed any man with me before. But... It seems there is something she's afraid of. Whenever it comes to marriage issue, I am trying so hard, very hard to find out what it is. Uh, Mama, that, that's not your challenge anymore. All right, it's okay, Mama. Uh, whatever it is to find out, I'm in the picture now, I'll do that. But what's most important, Mama, is that you're in town. And I'm really, really happy that you came to town to see you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you're you so welcome. much, my son. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my son. Thank God you're here. What are you doing here? You didn't tell me you were coming. Oh, well, I'm not here to see you. I'm here to see my mom. Okay. Unless, of course, you're jealous. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> We've been here gossiping, so. I hope the gossip is not about me, though. Yes, no, it is. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Mama. Kate, I, I don't know what you're waiting for in finalizing the arrangement with Richard here. Hey, what are you waiting for? I want you to know that there is time for everything. Yes, there is time for everything. You are ripe enough to be a mother. So why are you delaying? Why are you delaying about it? Do what you have to do. Okay? Richard here is a good choice. So, both of you should work things out and forget about the distractions your way. I want you to know there is nothing wrong in you. You don't have to peep what is in your palm. You already have him. Okay? Mama. What's funny? Why are you laughing? What are you guys doing here? Are they, Mama, they're supposed to be here. Go and get us food and drinks. We're visitors, right? Go and get us something. Go and come. Hello, are you the one that's supposed to come and get food for you? Richard, God knows I love you very much. With or without money. I refuse to take some things from you just so that I make it clear to you that our relationship is not based on material things. It's just, there's one thing stopping me from accepting your proposal. And what is it? The kind of life I lived before I met you. The kind of life that poverty forced me to live. I come from a very poor background, Richard. My parents could barely feed, let alone send me to school. I did some jobs in the village and raised money to go back to school. I met Sandra and she helped me. She gave me a room in her flat. But Sandra she has a very bad lifestyle. She sleeps with men for money. And these men sponsor her lavish lifestyle. 
So I just opted to selling clothes and makeup to raise money. Sandra continued to mount pressure on me to join their lifestyle. I refused. We graduated. And I was so desperate to get a job. I was eager to change my family status. I did everything to get a job. I went everywhere. I was so frustrated. <sighs> One day, Sandra asked me to join her to go see a friend. I innocently went with her, not knowing that the same friend in question desperately wanted to beat me. She knew I wouldn't concede to that. So she played the first one on me. Because she was well paid. Um, Kate, meet uh, my friend, Don. He's the one that has been giving me jobs. He's a very nice and friendly man. Um, Don, meet my good friend and sister, Kate. You know, the one I've been telling you about that I want you to help me also get a job for. Hmm? Wonderful friend. <laughs> I know, right? So, Kate, <laughs> what would you like to drink? Um, not to worry. I'm the one who takes spirit. Uh, my friend here doesn't drink alcohol. Really? She'll probably take juice, yes. Okay, Sava. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don Don. Don Don. Don Don. Baby. <laughs> don, don. <Yeah>. Baby. <laughs> feel free. You know, feel at home. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. And then that was the last thing I remember. I woke up later in the day and, to my greatest surprise, it was just me and the man in the room. <sighs> I thought everything had ended. But Sandra came home and was screaming and ranting and shouting at me that I snatched her boyfriend. I tried to defend myself, but She brought out a video of me and Donatus. I discovered later on that Sandra planned everything. She dropped me just to get me in bed with Donatus. I continued looking for a job. I avoided Sandra and her group like a plague. Luckily, I got a job, you know, in a very good company. Everything went on well, until one day, the owner of the company came into the office and decided to meet with the new staff. After I lost my job, My dad died almost the same time. I put all my life savings into his burial. I didn't have a choice. When I came back to the city, things were very, very rough for me. I didn't have any other choice but to just yield to Sandra's pressure. I chose the man that I slept with and went on about it until I was able to raise money to start my own salon. 
and I bid goodbye to that lifestyle. But Sandra, she still kept that video. After all my plea. Kate. I've listened to you. Kenley, I have listened. And I want to tell you that I am really sorry about everything that you have gone through, but... It is sad, but it is true that we're all victims of life's experiences. You're not alone in this, you know. As I hear you talk, I, I, I just wish that I had to be there with you. Maybe if I was in your life, I would have been able to stop a few of these things from happening. Stop beating yourself up. It's okay. All right? Please forgive me. Please. Even if nothing ever happens between us, just forgive me. I'm in no place to judge you. Kate. Okay. I forgive you. All right? It's okay. Mom. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> it's okay. That's all. My daughter, you don't have to continue to feel guilty and put yourself in some emotional trauma. In forgiveness, you have to forgive yourself first. Remember that it is impossible, almost impossible to get everybody to understand you, forgive you, be on your side and care for you. You just have to do the needful and leave the rest for God. Okay? Now, you know what you have to do. Go to your friend. Talk with her. Settle your differences. In doing that, be very careful, okay? Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, my dear. One more thing. I don't want you to keep rejecting Richard's offer. By doing so, you, 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 are, you, are, you are showing him that you've not completely accepted his offer to be his wife. He has good plans for you. Get him into your own plan. Support every good thing he wants to do. Hmm? You know what? Men love women who are submissive and supportive. Yes. Hello? Okay. I'll be with you soon. Mom, I told you. <laughs> Mom, I have to go. No problem. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. What do you want? Where is this Okon boy? What do you want? Can you have this lemon? Please. You are not welcome in this house anymore. Sandra. I mean, it shouldn't be this way, okay? And you're not even tired of this. We're friends. We're mm. more like sisters. Really? Yes. Let's just forget this whole thing. Let's forget who was wrong and who was right. Let's just let it go and move on. Please. I beg you in the name of God, please.
Okay. I've heard you. You, you forgive me? Yeah. All right, I, I have to go. I know, okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, sure. Bye. Eh, uh, Jessica, let's go. Sandy, hmm? I can't believe you. You mean you just forgave her just like that? <laughs> Don't you worry. Let's go. <laughs> Sandra on point. <laughs> Loving you like I should, but you take me for a fool. I'm a victim of this game. Maybe I should be a fool. What are you doing now? Why are you not taking my calls? Because there's nothing for you and I to talk about. That's why your calls were not picked. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm here to tell you about the sordid lifestyle of your saint of a woman. I mean the dirty parts. Dirty parts. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I know you don't know the kind of person that she is. <laughs> I can see you're completely clueless. So, I have something for you. Now, here is a video, a footage of one of her dirty lifestyles. This is just a part of her sex escapades. There you go. <laughs> when you're done watching it, let me know if this is the kind of woman that you want to get married to and spend the rest of your life with. You make me sick, Sandra. When are you going to stop trying <laughs> to win me back? Stop embarrassing yourself. You had your chance with me. You had a great opportunity at being with me, but what did you do? You messed it up. You messed it up. Look, let me tell you something. Kate told me everything about her. Everything from birth to present. Everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. Everything. Quit trying so hard to find your way back in my life. Because you and I are done. You hear me? We are done. My heart belongs to Kate. So is tied to hers. She is the woman that I will marry. She is the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life. This stupid thing, get out of my house. Out! No, Richard. We are friends, and friends we must be. Say one more word. Still sitting on that chair. That will be the last time I hear your voice. Get out. Now. Out! Thank <laughs> you. 
하는 What a really stare. Oh. Mm. You know what? Can I talk to you a bit later? Yeah, I'll call you right back. Yeah, thank you. Jessica, plan didn't work. What? He already knows everything about her. He didn't buy the story. We can't make him do what we want him to do. Shit. So what do we do now? Ask me. Ask me. Go. We need to switch to plan B. Don't worry. I got this. Hello? Cassie, is that you? Kate, baby. How are you? I'm so surprised that you of all people called me. Oh, come off it. <laughs> I know you don't regard me as your friend. And that's the reason why you didn't tell me about your upcoming wedding. Ah, uh, that's not true. I haven't even told anybody officially. Anyways, I'll be coming to see you girls tomorrow. Really? You're coming over tomorrow? What time tomorrow, please? Oh, that would be nice then. So I guess we'll see you tomorrow then. <sighs> That's it, go. The way forward. <laughs> Sandra, oh, always a point, girl. <laughs> Chick, you're correct. Yeah. She's going to be coming down here. Good. <laughs> My husband, to which as friends, his business partners, they were around, so I needed to make sure they were comfortable before I left. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Where is everyone? Oh, mm, Lovett went to the market. Okay. And Cynthia and Samantha went to check up on their tailor. Okay. No, but don't worry, they'll be back soon, you know. You just relax yourself okay. and, you know, feel at home, <laughs> you know. You know you're welcome here, right? I know. Okay, <laughs> good. Um, okay, so what do I offer you? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry I asked you that. I'm not supposed to be asking you that question. Um, I know you don't do alcohol. Mm -mm. Okay, so, um, but we do have some orange and apple juice in the fridge. So you can go make a choice and serve yourself. Hmm. You're not a stranger here. So I'm come glad on. you are the one that gave me the right to go take this juice because I'm going to drink it all. Thank you. <laughs> ah. So I'm looking forward. Maybe grand not or change you for the juice. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, that. Um, love it tight is away because of fun. So, I kind of have this way of eating it all. 
So, uh, don't worry. I will get you some, okay? No, you should be coming with you. You don't have to sell it, please. Where is it? Let's go together. Bless. I don't get this juice here. Oh. Exactly what I need now. God bless whoever kept this drink. That's oh. giving me a soothing relief. Oh, this hot song. This is exactly what my body needs. It has given me a Oh my god! Look at him! How are you? <laughs> Mwah. My god! It's good you're back. Thank you. I have to go through everywhere looking for this for changing that you need. <laughs> oh, my dear. Since these girls will not allow a bottle of granite or changing to last more than a day in this house, I've resolved to hide in them. <laughs> you said, how did you find my chinchin? <laughs> Jessica helped me find it. Jessica! Like it was a gold ultimate search. Love it. Yes. Is this the same juice that we left here or? Sorry, where did you get this juice from? I should be asking you where you got my chinchin from. Oh, left him. Oh. 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 What is it? What is it? What that you wanted to say. Love Talk it. now. Mm. Sandy. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it is love it is dead. Huh. It's not possible. No. Mm. What happened? She took the juice that was meant for Kate. O M G. Hey! How could you be so careless? I wasn't careless, Sandy. I wasn't careless. Look, Kate came to the house and she collected the juice that was meant for her and then also asked for a glass cup. And then she all of a sudden wanted some granuts and chinchin. So I excused her and went into the kitchen, was going to the kitchen to get it for her. And then she insisted she wanted to go get it by herself and followed me. And then Lovett walked in and somehow she drank the juice. And, and then all this. That girl is a witch. She is. That girl is a witch. Hey. Hey. So what are we going to do now? Her wedding is fast approaching. Do what? What are we going to do? Yeah. Sandy, I am not doing anything. <laughs> Lovett is dead and her body is lying in the morgue. You are still thinking about how to get Kate out of your way? Girl, when did you become this heartless and selfish? 
Please. You are not giving up on me, are you? That's not the issue. Cindy, that is not the issue. The issue here is that Lovett is dead. And the doctors are suggesting an autopsy. And when that autopsy comes out, her family is going to be aware that she was poisoned. And then Kate, Kate is going to remember that Kate was the one who gave her the juice that loved her before she died. And Kate will know that you are the murderer. In fact, she doesn't even need an autopsy to know that you were the one who tried to poison her. Remember, the drink that Lover drank was the one was the same one that you gave to her, right? Yes. Besides, what makes you think that um, Kate is not up and about around town telling everybody about the whole thing? Yeah, we should probably be thanking God for saving our lives. She's not dead. She's still alive. And Bula. <laughs> so what do I do now? You need to get to her before she gets to you. Oh. We need to fall back to plan C. Yes. saw him with a gun. I'm sure that man came to attack me. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? I, I, I knew that that man... Jesus. Hello, Richard. Where are you, please? You need to come now. Yes. 
Someone came here to attack me with a gun. I know what I'm saying. Let's go get it. That car he was carrying, and, and I parked it right behind him. I remember that, 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 that's him. You know what I think we should do? I think we should trail him, find out exactly where he's going, get there, call the police to come get him. No, 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 you can't do that. It's too risky. Just let him go. Let him go? Oh. We can't let him go. Okay, what if we let him go and then he comes back for you again? What happens? Huh? Relax, darling. We're going to trail this guy, find out exactly where he's going. We'll get there. We'll call the police to come get him. All right, let's see this to the end today. You sure? I'm sure it's okay. All right, I've got this. <laughs> so, all right, I think we shall make it up. We must trail him carefully. All right, relax. You sure? Yes. Look at this. It's not true. I hope this is not what I'm thinking. <laughs> I told you that Sandra is behind all of this, but you didn't believe me. Hello, DPO, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, it's Richard. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm very well, sir. Sir, I, I have a bit of a situation here. My fiancé's life is under threat, and as I speak with you, I am trailing the hired assassin who's been contracted to kill her. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I wear the address right now. It's the 6th at Benna Crescent. Yes, the suspect is still, the suspect is still, is still, is still in the building on him. But if anything changes before your boys get here, I'll let you know. But for now, he's still inside. Okay, sir. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I just don't understand you one bit. How can you not carry just a little task and then you call yourself a professional? I am a professional. I did not fail. I did not fail. I just... You did not fail. How come the girl in question is still alive? Jessica, explain to her that I need a little more time. I need a little time to perfect my work so that they don't get suspicious of anything. Hmm? Did you say a little more time? Their wedding is in two weeks' time, and I do not have that time. Don't you understand? 
Listen, I want that girl dead in two days' time. I don't care how you're going to do it. Just make sure she is dead. Count it down. Do it. What's going on here? I can't believe I have been friends with people who, who can actually plot to kill me. Sandra! And you. I'm sure she bribed you to kill me, right? Sorry, kids. It was the work of the devil. No! You are the devil. You killed Lovis. You killed her. While you were trying to kill me, was that not enough? Was that not enough for both of you to just give up? Give up on your evil plans? You are evil, both of you. You deserve to die. Officers, arrest these people. You're under arrest. Hey, what for? You have the right to remain silent because any two say now we use against you in the court of law. Officer, arrest them. Hey, you, 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 you,